So I'm very happy to welcome Eric, and uh, yeah, I will uh, present Elena afterwards. Eric, you have the floor is yours. Thank you. Yes, wait. Ah. So, um, yes. So my name is Eric Fromm. I have to say something which I'm trying to getting used to. My pronouns are he and his. Um, I'm very glad to be here and meet you, and I'm quite surprised to find such diverse a bunch of people. I would actually like to find out where you guys are from, because when I talk, I'm always afraid I, 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 I get into this mansplaining thing, thing where I tell you stuff you already know. So first of all, let's hear, where, where are you guys from? Uh, I'm from Iran. Ivan? Iran. Ah, Iran, yes. You as well? Or? From Hamburg. All right. <laughs> you're from Hamburg. Where are you from? Hamburg, but originally Lower Saxony. Okay. Grew up in Hamburg, but originally you are from too. Like okay. Uh, Hamburg, but Leipzig. All right. Okay. So everybody, Hamburg is is a nice city, but it's kind of boring for us now. So who's not from Hamburg? Okay. I'm no, no, right now. I'm from Hamburg. Okay. Switzerland. Switzerland. All right. Just please speak up. No, I mean, I, I live in Hamburg. OK. Yeah. But you're not from Hamburg. Where are you from? Yeah. I'm from yeah, Hamburg, but I'm from Mexico. OK. I'm from the US. Brazil. Brazil? Brazil. Wow. This is impressive. This is really impressive for me, at least. Nice. Um, OK, cool. Also, there's lots of talk about uh, circular economy, circular design. And we heard, just heard the words cradle to cradle, which is a principle of circular design. Um, but if I keep on talking about this, I'd like to know how much you have, how, how much of, of, of experts you are in this field. So we'll, we'll do more participation. Um, show with your hands how much you know about, you believe you know about circular design. This is a lot, this is practically nothing, this is okay, pretty much, and stuff. So now, right, 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 uh, raise your hands to the level of knowledge about circular design. Okay, so you, you know stuff, right, cool. Um, okay, so I'm trying, uh, I was asked to talk about um, two things, about to give an introduction into Cradle to Cradle, as well as talk about teaching and educating this. And from a bunch of like 10 years of experience um, teaching Cradle to Cradle and Circular Academy, I can pretty much for certain say I have no idea how to do it. None whatsoever. Uh, because it's very complicated and you can talk a lot, but actually, and this is the same when I learned it, when I was doing this, uh, my own kind of um, studies into, um, into Cradle to Cradle. It's only when you start applying it that you really come to grips with the, the, uh, the complexity of the entire thing. So what we did after we did this uh, consultation um, qualification, we, we, we did uh, crash tests, design crash tests, where we said, okay, let's take Certain certain stuff we want to design, and how would we do it in a in a cradle to cradle circular economy way? And only by doing that we really started to understand how it works. So it's not really it's so complicated. You need to do it to understand it. Um, but be that as it may, I'm still here to talk to you and tell you stuff. So first thing is um, I want to. And this could be fun if we talk later. I want to strongly disagree with what the guys before me said. Because I sincerely believe there is a way to manufacture goods, produce, and live without doing harm. It's not 
about doing as little harm as possible. I believe we can do it, and I think it should be our ambition to do it. And as for energy, only for an example, um, we have lots of inputs of energy every day. This is the only thing we really get a lot of from space, uh, namely the sun. So um, all this, these are discussions we can uh, uh, do later, but I do think it's uh, important to understand that, that we should have that hope that it's not about doing as little harm as possible, but of course, being humans, we must destroy everything. We just take a little bit longer to do it. It must be our goal to do no harm. And this is what um, um, Cradle to Cradle is about. And um, this is actually just, no, he's saying you probably, you probably know it, but it's, for me, important uh, to, to say it again, because this is what you always forget in the day-to-day -day problems we have with sustainability. The principle of cradle to cradle and circular economy is to do no harm because it can be done. And the, the tree is such an example. It grows, it uses energy to grow, and it produces lots of waste, and still it does no harm. So the... The ambition of circular design is to grow, to use energy, to produce waste, but to do no harm. And there's the, these classic three principles, how to achieve this in the cradle to cradle framework. You know them, kind of shake the head or nod if you know what we're talking about, okay, no? Okay, I'll, I'll repeat them just so you have an idea, but I won't kind of teach them. Uh, the principle is um, waste equals food, uh, use current solar income, and celebrate diversity. So these are the three principles that are kind of the, the, the core of cradle to cradle. And the idea is saying if you adhere to these three principles, you won't do harm. You won't destroy while building. Um, so look into it if you're interested. I can't really uh, elaborate more. Uh, what I prepared is a few central ideas that are hard to grasp. This is what I have from, from uh, uh, teaching and educating people. There are a, a, a core concepts which are hard to grasp for us because we're culturally trained to see the world differently. And we must unlearn this and really learn it new. And um, those are, I think, four points which I have encountered again and again with my students, uh, which really are hard, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you, and maybe it's a good point for further discussion, and you'll see why this comes as further disagreement. First one, the entire idea, and this is maybe not circular design overall, but this is cradle to cradle, and circular economy, Basics, even in um, as the Ellen MacArthur Foundation does it, it's it's a it's a criticism of the way we produce. It's a criticism of production of a technical. It's a technical criticism of industrial production. This is what cradle to cradle basically is, and it 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 has some ideas how to fix this. It is not basically a moral way to criticize consumerism in the heart and it's very easy and it's very hard to understand in the heart it says as long as you do no harm producing stuff and using it and reusing it then you can do it as much as you want the more the better you know you don't have to you don't have to use less and do less and less and less but yeah consume the hell away out of life do everything because you do no harm. If you do no harm, you can consume. If you don't believe in doing no harm, it won't work. But if you get to the point, and this should be our goal, because we have lots and lots of people in this world who want to consume stuff, who need to consume stuff, and it evidently won't work to tell them they shouldn't. So this is, let's concentrate of fixing the technological problem of how we produce stuff and how we do harm instead of preaching people 
you know, the buffet is empty now, the, wet, the, the, the global north has eaten everything, we all have to eat less now. Um, this, and this is hard to understand, you know, but it's, it's in my opinion, it's the basis of, of uh, working uh, on, on, on the future. Um, nice, I have an illustration, but you get the idea uh, even without. Um, the second one, the second point I'm, 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 I'm trying to get across when working with people is plastic is not evil. The entire, the entire idea of cradle to cradle and circular economy is, you probably know this uh, uh, picture, um, you have certain materials which belong to the biosphere and you have materials which belong to the, to the um, technological sphere and uh, circular, circularity is done by assembling them, using them, disassembling them and having a, a clear loop with this stuff. So this is the tough point because this, when I, when I, when I talked about the tree, this is what, what the tree does. It's quite easy to do this without doing harm. You know, tree, it, it grows some apples, it makes some blossoms, throw them anywhere, everywhere, and in best case, they, they um, dissolve to nutrients for another tree, which is technologically impressive and uh, for us easy to watch. But we can't recreate it. We can't do this with this, the stuff in the um, technological sphere. But most of my students, that's what I, why, why I come to this, uh, uh, see the solution to this problem of doing only products from materials of the biosphere. Because it's so easy and the environment does the hard work of um, reassembling everything and, and doing the loop stuff. But it doesn't work that way for us. Um, biology, yes, you know, this is, this is what I was trying to say. Uh, I was too fast for my own slides. Um, it grows and it breaks stuff up, which is really crazy because, you know, the materials from a tree, they don't have to become a new tree. They can become a, a, an animal. And this is incredible, but we can't really uh, do it as easily. But we have the technological sphere, and I use this picture to, to tell you why it's so important. We cannot live without technological materials. We cannot uh, sustain our moral ideas of, of living as a community with products from the ecosphere alone. So we have to find solutions. Um, how to manufacture stuff and recycle the material for new products. Um, and this is what's so fun about uh, being a product designer in the best case, because it used to be you were uh, uh, paid to, 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 to think about this part uh, uh, to, to, to products who could, uh, um, to, could be used, and now we have a new job, we have to think about this part. How do we ever get this stuff uh, uh, separated again, and how can we do this loop stuff? And this is what I really would like my, this, I'm still trying to talk about teaching students, uh, this is what I would like uh, my students to understand. Don't take the easy way of saying oh, we only use wood anymore, wood and paper. But, to think about this. It's hard, but it should be possible, and it must be possible, and it must be done. Am I too slow? How much time do I have? Five minutes. Oh, five minutes, okay. Won't, won't work. But again, okay. Another part, which is difficult to grasp, because we mix everything, everybody mixes everything together. But we should understand when we talk about circular uh, uh, economy and circular design, there are different ways of harming our environment and we shouldn't mix them together, be, be together because we won't understand what we're doing and what we want to achieve. And the biggest problem we all uh, perceive right now is climate change. And climate change has to do with the burning of fossil fuel. And so it's a, a question of carbon dioxide and stuff, but 
it is mostly not what's interesting for circular design because it's about the energy and circular design is seldom about the energy used because we are interested mostly in the material flow and it's something different and just uh, this is the, the, the difference between a water footprint and a carbon footprint. It's not the same. And the, the solutions to reduce the carbon footprints can be totally wrong for all the other um, aspects we, we, we want to address and the other way around. So just, um, this is in a classic uh, life cycle assessment. Those are the factors which are taken into account to, to get to, to an opinion about the sustainability of, of, of the product you're researching, and global warming is only one of them. And this is CO2. But all this, they don't have a lot to do with energy. You know? So don't start mixing this up without you know, separating it, analyzing what are you talking about, what are you trying to achieve, are you trying to minimize global warming, or are you trying um, to, to, to minimize the harmful impact of waste? It's just not the same thing. And it needs a different um, approaches. And this is my last one. And again, this is, um, this is from experience with cradle-to-cradle uh, -cradle concepts and circular economy concepts. Also from practical considerations when working with um, companies who are trying to be better and do circular design. Most companies um, depend on having something we call Vertrieb in English. What's Vertrieb in English? Uh, Sales, and sales. Yes, sales. So, uh, which is basically saying uh, they think very hard how to get their product into the market. Nobody, practically, has a department for thinking about how to get their product out of the market back again. The the take back logistics, the entire idea of how do I get my my material back, because. That's the material I need to do new products. This is fundamental for uh, a fun cradle-to-cradle -cradle product idea and concept. You want your own material back. You want the good material back. You don't want some mixed bag of trash from all the competitors who mixed some trash into their material. And then it gets recycled into a... a, a, a Recycle bag of trash. So this is what you don't want. You want your own stuff back. So you have to develop um, market concepts where getting your product back is a part of um, of the entire uh, concept of the product from the beginning. This is interesting and this is fun and this is of course for classic product designers also something completely new. And we've done it in the past, in Germany. I don't know, the older, of, the older people, elder people who know this uh, probably, this is um, the Deutsche Brunnen. But I don't have time to explain, right? Right. Okay. So I won't explain, but this is a fantastic circular economy uh, closing the loop product, which was uh, ubiquitous, I think, in Germany, I think it's the right word, uh, which was very common in, in Germany uh, some years back, and for interesting reasons isn't anymore. So I'm done. These are the four. Uh, Thank you, Eric, 